a dramatic setting for a potentially decisive day. Ricky Brabeck was first into the stage after his superb stage win yesterday and he was soon joined by his Honda teammate Joan Bereda who set off three minutes later. But the Spaniard is apparently still feeling the ill effects of a crash two days ago. Incredibly, he completely missed the refueling point at 174 kilometers. And as that is against rally regulations, he was set to incur a hefty time penalty. Inevitably, he ran out of gas. And after a medical check, he ended up throwing in the towel. I wasn't feeling well again this morning. I don't know if it's because of the crash I had two days ago, but I was definitely a bit dizzy. I ended up missing the refueling point and I just didn't stop. Ultimately, it was my mistake. Disaster for Bereda, who was on course for his best ever result. Lorenzo Santolino thus moved up to sixth overall after spending most of the day on his own. No big crashes or navigation errors, and the Sherco bike is looking good. A frustrating stage, though, for Skylar Howes. The American ended up getting stuck in a hole late in the day and losing quite a bit of time. He just about held on to fifth place overall, but Santolino is only 19 seconds back. Daniel Sanders enjoyed the variety of today's stage, saying it was his favorite outing so far, and that in spite of some tricky navigation. The Aussie cruising through the canyons and dunes to take fourth place. He's also fourth overall. What a performance for his maiden Dakar. Brabeck was always likely to lose time, having opened this morning, and he slipped seven minutes off the pace. The American wasn't happy with KTM, rejecting the suggestion that Bereda's misadventure with refueling was some kind of tactical move. They, they think that it's, um, it, it was a strategy for Juan to go ahead and skip refueling, but you know what, they, they're talking crap behind our back and you know, I'm not okay with that. If they want to play that game, then we're going to play. Hopefully tomorrow we can clinch a podium spot, that's, that's about it. Well, Matthias Valken later apologized to Honda, so hopefully they can patch things up in the bivouac. Meanwhile, his teammate Sam Sunderland went for it today as he looked to make up a 10 minute deficit to the rally lead. Close, but no cigar. He is still four minutes back. I knew that today was was my uh, one of my last chance to try to to win, um, and I gave my all, you know, all day. And uh, the boys up front did a great job. Didn't manage to take a, quite enough time, but yeah, we still have one day to go, and many things can happen in one stage. So Kevin Benavides is on the verge of a historic first victory for South America in the bikes. The Argentine doing a solid job with Brabeck in the dunes to retain his overall lead. He is now just 225 kilometers from Dakar glory. I think we managed a good stage up at the front and now we'll see what happens tomorrow. Joan made a serious mistake and that saw him retire from the rally, which is a real shame. And now we have to fight until the finish tomorrow. Pablo Quintanilla second behind Sunderland on the day, having finally got his suspension sorted. The Chilean is seventh overall, Valtner completing the top five. Benavides with a lead of four minutes and 12 seconds to defend in tomorrow's final stage. Sunderland and Brebeck within seven minutes 13. Another Argentine is on course to win the quads class. Meanwhile, Manuel Andahar leads by over 25 minutes.